Hi, I'm Kyle Krupp from Renew Tool located here in Owasso, Michigan. Today I'll be talking with you about the new PB2500 Smart Battery Powered Blind Fastening Rivet Tool with process monitoring developed by Stanley Engineered Fastening. First off, I'm going to touch on some of the features this tool has. It being battery operated, it makes it nice. You have no pneumatic hoses trailing anywhere. You can get it into hard to reach areas and it actually is very well balanced. Being just under five pounds with a 4.0 amp hour battery, it makes it very convenient. One of the other features I like about this tool is a new nose piece designed by Stanley Engineered Fastener. It actually holds a rivet in place, which allows you a free hand for certain applications. If you had to hold something in place to place a rivet, it does not fall out without you actually setting the rivet. One of the other great features, just like the PB2500N, this actually comes with a light to make it easier to see and harder to see applications. The PB2500S also has a process monitoring system. This system is designed not only to assure proper installation of rivets, but to also count down maintenance intervals, which can help save costs and eliminate problems with internal components, which in turn will lead to longer life of the components as well as overall life of the tool itself. This tool comes equipped with a micro USB port and this tool is capable of storing 500,000 data points. This is also Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled, which will eventually have applications developed to use those features. Now I'm gonna go over the setup and operation of this tool a little bit. Before setup and operation of this tool, you wanna remove the battery and you wanna to refer to the accessories manual located in the manual in the box that comes with the tool. You'll want to determine the correct nose piece, jaw assembly, or jaw guide for the appropriate rivet you'll be using for the application. Once that's determined, you can go ahead and assemble the nose piece to the front end of the gun. Just like the setup and operation of this tool, the maintenance will actually require you to remove the battery so you don't actually hit the trigger, and you'll remove the nose housing by hand. You'll then take your 12 millimeter spanner wrench and you will loosen the nose piece from the nose housing. And then you can actually wipe the inside of the nose housing out with a microfiber towel. And you can actually look through the hole of the nose piece to make sure there's nothing protruding and causing it to plug up. Then tighten your nose piece, just snug or 12 newton meters. You can take the front clutch, pull down, and you can then screw the jaw guide off. Pull your jaw pusher spring and jaw pusher out. And then you can make sure to move the jaw pieces or the jaw set. Wipe out the inside, again with the microfiber towel. Look at it and make sure it's not scuffed up and the taper is clean. You'll then re-grease it. And it doesn't take much grease. Just wanna make sure that the jaw set does not bind up. You'll then set the jaw set down into the jaw guide. Take your jaw pusher and jaw pusher spring. Make sure your jaw set's pushed down in there correctly. Take your jaw pusher spring and jaw pusher, set it inside the, the clutch of the gun, and go ahead and hand thread the jaw guide back on. Pull down on the clutch, release, and then you can back turn, make sure it's locked in place. Once that's done, you can uh, lube up the threads of the nose housing itself, just a little dab of grease, Go ahead and hand tighten the nose housing. Any modifications will avoid the warranty on this gun. So you don't want to do any modifications to this. Also, you don't want to open this gun up because everything has certain tolerances and should be done by a certified dealer or service center. Now we're going to talk about the process monitoring system for this tool. To turn the gun on, pull the trigger one time. The Stanley Engineering screen will come up. 
The poke yoke screen is the first counter that you'll see. Poke yoke, meaning full proofing, is designed to give the installer the assurance that the rivets being used for each designed application is in fact installed to its proper force and breaking strength during the process by giving a live OK or not OK reading, as well as the assessment curve so you can actually see what the previous rivet has set at for its force and its stroke. The next screen is Service 1, which is actually utilized by a customer. They allow a Service 1, 2, and 3 screen so you can set up freely for whatever applications you wish to set it up for. It has a mandrel counter which will sound an alarm when the rivet collector bottle needs to be emptied. This will help eliminate the jamming of mandrels and keep you from overloading the basket itself. The next screen is the jaw counter, which will sound an alarm when the jaw maintenance is required after so many rivets have been through. So this right now is defaulted to 3,000. At 3,000 rivets, the alarm will sound, which means you need to take the nose housing off the tool itself and examine the jaw guides and the jaw set itself. The next counter screen is the overhaul counter, which will sound an alarm for the complete tool maintenance after 50,000 rivets have gone through the gun. This is when you need to contact your service center or dealer and have a service tech service the gun. The next counter screen is a daily counter. This gives you a total of rivets installed per day. The next screen after that is the monthly counter. This gives you the total installations per month. And lastly, a total counter. This is a total tool cycle. So one of the smart functions that I'd like to go over with you about this tool, in assessment mode, you can click on average mode and you can set five different rivets, which will give you an average of all five rivets. If you have one that's off, you can simply click on that. You can actually pull and set a rivet to give you to give you a new established reading. So once you have determined your five rivets and you have a good average across the board, you can then click on this tab. You can set a tighter tolerance for the force and stroke of these rivets. You can go up or down by clicking on one of the settings and directing it with an arrow. So you can then set the rivet with the thickness you establish your average for which I'm actually demonstrating with three washers, and it should give you a live OK reading. If I set the rivet, it shows up as OK on the screen. That's with three washers. Now, if for some reason something changed and I put one washer on it, my stroke and force is gonna change. It should give me a not OK reading, which it did which tells you that something was wrong with that rivet set. This does not count it in the poke yoke counter. So what you do to reset it is actually touch the screen, goes back to the main poke yoke screen, and you can continue with the right rivet. As you can see here, it gave you a live okay reading. Now, if you were to grab an entirely wrong rivet, say you throw them in your pocket and you have a handful of different rivets and you got one in that's too long, it should also give you a no okay reading. One more thing I'd like to touch on is you should actually make sure that the vents are clear of dust and debris. You can simply just wipe that with a rag. I wouldn't blow any air into it, but um, although this is a very durable tool from Stanley, I would try to take care of it and just refrain from dropping it or banging it around. This is a pretty advanced piece of technology. Thanks for tuning in. Again, my name is Kyle from Renew Tool here in Owasso, Michigan. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below.